cheering family members, school pupils and members of the wider community marched through the grounds of East Otago High School, waving signs and balloons to celebrate Courtney Duncan's world champion status. Uh, I'm pretty excited, it's pretty cool to be back here at my old school, I mean I spent yeah, all my school and career here so it's cool to come back and see the kids and uh, yeah, show a little bit of support back to them. Duncan won the title at the AFON circuit in Turkey earlier this month and was welcomed to her former high school in a spirited haka. She had a simple message for the people in her hometown, never give up on your dreams. Um, pretty much just to continue to chase your dreams. I mean, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a world champion, and I went through some tough times to get there, and a lot of, you know, a lot of doubtful <laughs> moments as well. You know, am I ever going to make it? And um, yeah, but I just kept going and held on to a little bit of faith. And I mean, we're here today, and we can finally say I'm a world champion. So yeah, kids, just continue to chase your dreams, and yeah, never give up on what you want. Waitaki District Mayor Gary Kircher says it's Palmerston's first civic parade since 1954 when the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh visited. Receiving the honour means a lot to Duncan, who says the support of community and especially her family has kept her going. Yeah, my family's, I mean I couldn't ask for more supportive family, that streams from you know, my parents, to my brother and sister, uh, to my cousins, aunties and uncles, grandparents, I mean everyone's so supportive and uh, it's cool, it's cool to have uh, people that like that behind you, win or lose, those guys are always there for me. East Otago High School Principal Marcus Cooper was delighted to welcome her back to the school that she left at the end of year 11. At 23 years old and at the top of the motocross world, she says her interest in the sport began when she was very young. Yeah, it was prior than that. I got into motocross pretty much as soon as I started primary school. I think I was like six when I started riding. So, um, yeah, spent spent a lot of time riding and growing up with the kids that uh, come through the school. And, uh, yeah, it's cool to give back. About 250 people attended the parade, which featured the North Otago Highland Pipe Band. The last time a New Zealander was Women's Motocross World Champion was in 2006 and 2007. In Dunedin, the South Today.